This is Valencia. Hello, welcome back. This is part three, final part of our Spain series. If you want to go back to watch the first two parts, I'll link them below. Part one, we were in Madrid. Part two, we were in Barcelona. If you're enjoying the videos, consider subscribing below. I only have 70 subscribers. I'll get the notification you subscribed. You can imagine me being super happy somewhere. But with that out of the way, on to Valencia. So if you watched the last video, you'll know we decided to fly from Barcelona to Valencia. I don't know if this is the best decision. Our flight was at 7.30 a.m., which meant we had to catch a taxi to get there early enough. But we got to Valencia at about 8.30. The plane ticket was pretty much the same price as the train which is why we decided to do it and the train was about three three and a half hours but i don't know if it was actually worth it because we had to wake up early we had to pay for a taxi but there was basically nobody on the plane other than us and you know some business people the reason we decided to go to valencia is because when we looked all the hotels were super cheap for the time period we were looking in and it turns out they had just had a major holiday the week before they have a holiday called falas where they'll make these giant wooden statues and basically burn them all and set fireworks off which we're kind of sad we missed but we definitely don't miss the crowds which was a nice change of pace because barcelona is just so crowded especially in the main areas so we get there super early and surprisingly our room is ready for us and here's another short little room tour this is another points redemption so totally free and if you want to see our full spending breakdown it'll be in the instagram post that my wife made along with a bunch of other helpful resources if you're trying to plan a trip like this so we basically have 24 hours to spend in valencia before we have to make it back to madrid and catch our flight back so first thing that catches our eye is there's this giant park that goes all the way around valencia so we decide to walk over and see what that's about and when we get there there's a whole bunch of people biking and e-scootering around up and down this park almost like a main highway for people to get around the city which is kind of cool i've never seen anything like that but it's also just a nice park so we were kind of walking around that area for a little while before we decided to head back but on the way back we popped into a couple of these huge buildings you'll see them all over spain they're called a court anglais i don't really know how to describe it but you can basically get anything there i'm talking like appliances electronics clothes haircuts you know services they're like seven stories tall and each one is completely different from the last one so we would go in a couple of them and see what they're about and you can walk around in them forever and there's even a huge cafeteria on the roof so you get like good views of Valencia from them. So I don't know. Maybe it's a dumb thing to mention, but I thought it was super cool. And if you see one when you're in Spain, maybe go check it out. Now, the other place we checked out was the Ceramic Museum. We're not really museum people, but a couple of people recommended this to us. And it was pretty cheap. It was only like three euro per person to get in. And it's kind of like somebody's old mansion all redone. And you can see there's a ton of nice art and architecture you can see inside. Okay, so one of the main reasons we picked Valencia is this science museum area. It's a super cool area. It has this giant reflecting pool with all these buildings around it. It's pretty cheap to go in the science museum. We spent a couple hours there. And the aquarium is a little more expensive, but it's one of the biggest aquariums in Europe and they have free dolphin shows. So it's definitely a good way to spend a couple hours. I would actually recommend checking this area out. But from there, we met up with our friend and we kind of went to a couple restaurants and bar hopped and got some tapas around an area called Rusafa, which is the perfect place in Valencia if you want to do that kind of thing. The streets are packed with people eating and drinking outside. We left at 1 a.m. It was still crowded. But yeah, quick little stopover in Valencia. Valencia. This video is a little bit shorter, but my final thoughts on Valencia, it was honestly my favorite city in Spain. Much more laid back. The food was good. All the cafes were delicious. Tons of parks and green space to walk around and explore. It's one of those cities you can see yourself living in. This is kind of a last minute addition to our trip, but it was a blast. It was the perfect way to end it. And that's going to do it for my Spain videos. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. If you missed the other videos, check them out. And if you think about going to Spain, I would definitely do it. Probably my favorite place that we've been in Europe.